Sir, uh, if you could just bring it back down a little bit. Hey, all you little hulksters out there, this is your good buddy, Hulk Hogan, and I'm here to tell you about a brand new game on your PS4. It's called Hulkamania Turbo. Yeah. Hulk, it's not Hulk? Hulkamania Turbo. We've told you this. Let's try it again. Try it again. Why not? Well, you called it Hulkamania Hulk Turbo. It's Trackmania Turbo. Okay. Hulk, Hulkamania Turbo. Right? No. I mean, because I got my... Got my number one finger here. I understand about the finger, but oh. right now we're talking about the game. Um, thank you for bringing that, though. Let's, let's try it again. Hey out there, all you hoaxers. This is your good buddy, Hulk Hogan, and I'm here to tell you about a new game that's coming out on your PlayStation 4. And once again, Hulk, it's already out. Let's try again. Focus. Hey, my little Hulkamaniacs out there, I hope you've been saying your prayers, doing your training, and eating your vitamins, because there's a brand new game on your PS4, and it's called Hulkamania Turbo. Yeah, that's right. You get to play. Oh, it's so cool, dude. You get to drive cars. You go real fast and everything. I honestly don't know what driving cars has anything to do with Hulkamania, but they, they had the Hulkster come in here to tell you all about it. I don't know what's wrong with these guys, but hey. You couldn't do better than the Hulkster to use for your for your game to to sell a lot. I mean, come on. I mean, look, look, let's go. Hulk, make it! Okay, Hulk, that's what? that's fine. Let's. What? I don't think it's gonna work out, Hulk. It's, it's Trackmania, Hulk. Trackmania? No. no, 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 no. Hulkamania. Hulkamania number one, baby. Yeah, dude. Listen up, brother. If you think your game should be called Trackamania, I'm telling you what, you're not going to sell anything. It needs to be called Hulkamania. Hulkamania loves running wild, yeah. Uh, this just isn't going to work out, Hulk. I know, I, I had a couple issues and stuff. Well, it's not really about that so much, but... I see this camera here. Is there any other... You got any other cameras around here? I, I like to know when there's extra cameras around. I only have just one camera. You better tell me if you got anything Nothing, hidden. Nothing's hidden. One camera. That... Watching. Watching you. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. Okay, fine. Don't want the Hulkster? It's been nice having you, Hulk. What am I going to do for you? What are you going to do when Hulkamania runs wild on... Can we get security? Okay, fine. Somebody I... get in here and fine. take care of this guy. Fine. Okay. Blah. All right. That was a disaster. Who do we have coming up next? Should be Hulkamania. Uh, would you get out of here? Hulkamania is number one. Dude. Alright everybody, so here we have Trackmania. This is a Ubisoft game. You know, it seems like anymore every game that comes out is a Ubisoft game, but this one here is different, you know. It's been around a while on PC with a few different releases, but now we have one that came out on PS4. Trackmania Turbo. This is a very good looking, colorful, arcade racer with great speed and smooth frame rate. This thing is like the arcade games of old. It feels like a mix of Ridge Racer, F-Zero, the Trials games, and there's even a hint of the precision and track memorization that you would find in the license tests from Gran Turismo. This game has an instant restart button which also feels like Trials and kind of feels a little bit like Super Meat Boy. So if you want to obsess about getting the gold medal or beating a challenge in this thing, you got the button right there so that if you make any kind of mistake at all, you just hit it and start over. Kind of cool thing though is every time you start over, the game says three, two, one, go in different languages. So you're going to learn a lot of different languages to say three, two, one, go and uh, the funny trivia here is that it seems like almost all the languages say go, go, go figure. So, there really is more to this game than just pedal to the metal. I mean, in a lot of other arcade racers, you just hit the gas button, you never let off. But, in Trackmania Turbo, in order to pass the levels as they get harder and harder, you're going to need to master each track and know when to hit the gas and when to let off the gas because there's tons of little dips and hills that you're going to get air. You're going to jump and fly. And so you kind of have to line yourself up, but you also have to have just the right speed to come off a jump correctly 
and then land without losing any speed. I'm telling you, there's way more finesse to this game than you would think, and way more finesse than it would appear at first glance. So you have four different locations, and you have four different types of cars. All of them are really fun, but the one I really like is the Lagoon Roller Coaster tracks with its magnetic tracks that are kind of like the ones they have in Mario Kart 8 where you're driving straight up in the air, upside down, all that cool stuff. Now, Trackmania Turbo, full price on PSN is $40. And that seems a little bit steep at first, but once you see all the different things that this game offers, it actually seems like it's kind of worth it. So we start off with single player. It consists of the campaign, and the campaign is basically 200 levels. There are five different levels of difficulty for each of the four locations that the game has. Each difficulty has 10 different tracks, 10 different levels in it. So there you have your 200 tracks. You know, that's not really bad. And I guarantee you that in order to gold medal all 200 levels, you're gonna have to play this thing a lot. But that's not where the single player ends, you see? Because there's also Track Builder. Now you can make your own tracks with tons of options. You start off by making the landscape. You change everything. It's kind of like a Mario Maker for Track Media. You just think up something and you can make it. You've got all the pieces of the track there and you can set what time of day it is. You can, you can change everything. It's really cool. But if you're the kind of person who just wants more tracks and more racing after you get through the 200, you got that too because all you have to do is hit random track generator you tell it what kind of track you're looking for and it will make you a random track it's awesome and it really doesn't take long we're talking like less than 30 seconds and you got a completely brand new track to master so here you go single player unlimited tracks and then on top of that you add some of the online functionality so here's the thing when you first set up the game it asks you where you live and so then the game constantly ranks you among other players in your local area, your country, the world, all that. And it also shows you your friends' times. So not only are you trying to beat the gold medal time, but you're also sitting there trying to rank up, you know, just for the fun of it. I mean, it's going to feel pretty good when you get a little bit better time on something and then all of a sudden you see that you're like one of the top people in your state or in your country. Or heck, if you're a world record holder, man, that would be so cool. And the other thing with Track Builder is you can share all these tracks that you make. You can even save the random ones if you like them. You can share them. You create challenges that can be downloaded by other players. You can download their challenges. And there's just a whole lot going on here. Tons and tons of arcade racing action. And then we actually have the multiplayer. The actual multiplayer mode, which is just a huge major party game. From basic races to completely strange and weird modifiers. One of them I found was where you have to actually mash the gas button in order to keep going. You can't just hold it down. You have to sit there and pound on it. Imagine having a four player split screen and everybody's mashing the crap out of the buttons to drive while they're still trying to steer correctly and everything. It's just going to be insane and a lot of fun. There's another one that I found where everybody plays at the same time, but this time only on one screen. And the camera stays on the leader. So if you fall too far behind and you fall off the screen, basically, you lose a point. And then there's kind of an elimination thing, which is a really another really cool way to try to do arcade racing a little bit differently. But that's not where they end. The weirdest one is double driver mode. This is where you and another driver simultaneously drive the car. The way it works is that the car only responds when you both drive the same way. So you both have to hold down the gas, you both have to hit the brakes at the same time. You steer left, you steer right, however you're going to do it to control the car, you have to be in sync with the other person because when you both hit buttons out of sync, the car doesn't respond, it'll just keep going on wherever it's going. So that's a very strange thing, and I honestly can't wait to get some friends over here to try out all these different party modes on Trackmania Turbo. It gives you lots of different things to do and a lot of different ways to do it. It's very robust. 
I mean, it even has a section where you can customize the cars. I mean, there's really a lot of stuff going on here, and I guarantee you that there's probably even more stuff that I haven't even mentioned here. So here you go. If you want the single player type of game where you need precision and restart after restart until you get it just perfect, you have that. If you want to have races where you have challenges to beat from friends and other drivers, you have that. You want to play multiplayer in normal and crazy races? You have that. This thing is an insanely hard precision racer, arcade racer, party racer, track creator, and overall awesome arcade style driving game, no matter how you actually want to play it. If you're a fan of arcade style racing games with a great sense of speed and options out the wazoo on how you can play this thing solo or with others, then this game is for you. The only people who won't like this game are people who don't like driving games to begin with or people who only like to play simulation games. This is definitely not a simulation racing game. If that's what you're looking for, you're not going to like it. For me, I think this is super fun and it's going to be great having friends over playing this thing and I'm sure that we're going to find even more things to unlock in the game, hidden things, crazy stuff to do. I totally recommend this game. And you know, with or without the Hulkster's promotion, what I want to say to everybody is, What you gonna do when Trackmania Turbo runs wild on you, brother? So till next time, remember, you never outgrow video games. I am Chad the Gaming Dad here on Dad's Games. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. So long, everybody.